Some of these students may well be the future of African-led missions in space, but a step at a time. First, building robots out of Lego blocks and programming them to navigate through a maze using light and sound is a chance for them to connect scientific theory with hands-on learning to fix real problems. It's basically like we want to manufacture something that picks objects to assemble. So you can have a programming like that and then you place the object at vantage points, let's say where you meet the green line. So when it gets there, it picks the thing, assembles it. Yeah, so we can even use it in our car industries and the rest. Okay, I want to be a doctor. But since the, the trends in medicine are changing, since now we are using endoscopy to perform life operations, that is the use of a robot camera to go through the human body without making any incisions on the body. Yeah. So I feel I have to just as a student, like, update myself with this kind of robotic knowledge. So by the time I, I'm, a, I'm a doctor or something like that, yeah, I'll be abreast of with all these skills. Taking a cue from his own education and career growth, the man driving this wants to show that the sky is the limit for students with proper mentoring. We in developing countries usually count on natural resources. But if you look at countries like Japan and South Korea, they don't have much natural resources. They develop the human resource. So we think it's very important for Ghana to move forward into this technology economy to have more students pursue careers and educational opportunities in STEM, what we call science, technology, engineering, and math. So that's the impetus for this for, for, for this uh, workshop. And students are really excited to get to, they, they think science is fine because in Ghana, the way we currently teach science, we don't actually take the theory and put it in practice. But this is giving them that connection and they're saying it's fine. And as you can see, the atmosphere was electric. It's just like you're watching the Black Stars playing the World Cup in South Africa. From agriculture to mining and oil production to medicine, there's a lot to be gained from a well-trained workforce strong in maths, science and technology. Africa's emerging economies will require nothing less. Akwesi Sapong, BBC News, Accra.